Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Soldiers. The last time we left off, we got started on our adventure, fought one boss, quote unquote, and uh, someone did point out to me that I did miss something here. So I was scrolling so fast that I missed you. Um, so Cinco was born in one of Zarga's poorest slums. She only ever left when she was accused of several robberies and imprisoned. When the king approved of her grant to enlist thieves into the army under a slayer unit. Yeah, we, we heard about the slayer unit. That was the, um, the like a rogue type unit that was made up of ex-cons. Cinco was recruited after Sindel insisted on enlisting her. She's now one of the most talented of her class. She's slightly rude and ill-tempered, but deep down, she's relieved to have found meaning in her unhappy life. Cinco has huge respect for Sindel and sees him as the father that Zargus Justice took from her when she was just a child. Alright, so yeah, a lot of people trapped in, like, weird afterlife purgatory here with us. Um, so another thing I noticed is, uh, I used this thing. My healing potion did not come back. I do not have a healing potion anymore. So that leads me to believe that, um, they're consumable. Which is... We'll see, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um... I know in, in like, Souls games, g people generally despise the consumable, um, healing items because you, you have to farm them. I'm not, I'm not sure how it'll play in here. We, we just need to see more of it, but I know, you know, like, the blood vials in Bloodborne and farming, ow, grass in, um, what is it, uh, Demon Souls, people do not like. So that was a trap. I'm trying to see where the pressure plate was? I don't really see. God, this just makes me think of Terraria and, huh, always having to think about dodging boulders and shit. Are we gonna have, like, wall chicken anywhere? I feel like I should be slapping walls pretty consistently. Okay, the main thing is just gonna be not to die here. Ooh, I should probably destroy those, those. And torches, yes. Right? Okay, no, we can't destroy torches. I was, I'm sorry, I'm thinking Castlevania. Boom, boom. Alright, well, we got HP, that's good. Okay, so we don't- we, we can still pick up HP from things like that. Armadillo, hello! And secret! Okay, so we do have secrets like that. Good to know. What do you got for me? A health potion. Cool. Alright, so we, we can still heal up by, like, destroying objects in the environment. So we do have that. Oh god, you're a Medusa head. And by that I mean the enemy type from Castlevania. The flying enemies that just sort of float in a, like, weird pattern across the screen. Ew, I hate it! Oh no! Why? Okay. Okay, you're, you're doing your thing. Okay, ah. Die. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm trying to use my, like, homing attacks to pick you dorks out. Okay, you're all dead now. Hello, person. Oh, I just looted your corpse. Well, well, thank you. You didn't need it anymore, I guess. Cool. Bing, bing. Okay, so yeah, if they have, like, you can get HP from, uh, things in the environment, uh, like that, it's, it's not going, it's not going to be that bad, I don't think. We're obviously probably gonna want to save, uh, uh, all of our HP things for, um, boss fights. Yeah, that was two of them. I was a little bit worried about that, but we seem to have lived through it. I should have guarded a little bit more effectively. More secret. Okay, we really gotta check all those walls. Got a bone pendant. The bones that make up this pendant are fake, but instead carved- being instead carved from wood. Equipping amulets. Amulets grant a variety of bonuses. You can equip and manage them in your inventory by pressing starts. Press start and select the accessory tab in your inventory. Bones that make up this- okay. So it's just a straight up stat increase. I have higher attack damage. Cool. So... Alright, that seems like that's the only kind of armor we're going to get. And it's just straight up... Stat bonuses. Of course, I don't know what these other two fields here are. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's always interesting now when I play, uh... Metroidvanias to see... If they're going to lead... More into the, uh... The Castlevania aspects, or the actual Metroid aspects, because, yeah, this is definitely leading more Castlevania. It feels more like Bloodstained, but with the leveling up and stuff. 
New mastery available. You obtained your first mastery relic. You can use it to acquire your first mastery. Masteries are skills, normally passive, that you can distribute as you wish. As you level up, you will acquire more of these relics. Start to access the menu and select the mastery submenu. Question! Can I freely respec? Because that is always the question I ask here. <laughs> um, maybe there's an NPC or something, so... Create a reflection at your position with B. RB to detonate it and damage nearby enemies. This action will consume part of your mana bar. Cool. Create a reflection. So, I'm guessing enemies will target it. Or is it just like they're, they're going to ignore it and still come after me? Okay, and then we have reduce the damage, reduce the chance of being affected by an altered state. If your barrier is destroyed, it will explode and damage nearby enemies. That's cool. Increase the power of bursts if your staff is fully charged. And increase the duration of your reflections. So what do you mean staff's fully charged? I'm guessing the bursts you're talking about are the little thingies that I shoot out? It's kind of my assumption. God, I'm immediately so into this. I do- God, Bloodstained is probably like one of my favorite LPs I've done on the channel. I absolutely loved that game. It really makes me realize I should- I should play more Castlevania. Specifically like, you know, Symphony of the Night and stuff like that. I played a lot of the early Castlevanias when it was just a brutally hard, um, platformer. But, uh, yeah, I haven't played many of the newer things. So, it's definitely something I should look into sometime. Excuse me, is that Totem Evil? Are those spikes gonna hurt me? Uh, uh no, that doesn't seem like they're gonna hurt me. Okay, I can just, I can just walk right past the spikes. Alright, gotta check all those walls, though, as much as I possibly can. Having this, like, ranged attack to hit you with is very, very handy. I like that quite a bit. Uh-huh. So, I do have to check out my ability. It uses mana, it said. So I do have to watch that. I don't know how I fill that meter yet. Is it just over time? Is it something I pick up? Ah! Mackerel and grouper. Okay, so you're both named after fish. You scared us. You shouldn't scare us at a time like this. The rest of us? You'll see. Everything was going fine until a group of nasty soldiers came hurtling towards us. Out of nowhere, dragging the others into the darkness of the cave. It's gonna help, but realize that my shoelaces run tied. I don't know what the lazy this lazy bones is doing though. I told you. I was watching over the provisions. You saw how hungry those bugs looked. Hungry for us, genius. Oh really? And since when have our boots had laces? Never mind the details. The important thing is to come up with a rescue plan. Wait, do you think he Yes, will you help us? Perfect. We're going to check out the main room, just in case. Alright, cool. You got a map of Terra Gaia. Mackerel and Grouper have started to draw a map of Terra Gaia. It seems that from now on, it's up to you to finish it. Cool. Th thank you. Please find them. Okay, we got ourselves a map. Can find the way. A map is the answer. Oh, you actually want me to do it now. Okay. And we can see everything we've gotten, so... Yeah, there's a door blocked over there. We can still get up higher there, but I need like a double jump or something to do that. I have found 3% of the map, by the way. And the Tim's Plains... Okay, this is exactly what I would... What, what I thought I was going to be getting from a map in here. Good. I love me a good Metroidvania map. Soldiers on the menu. New side quest. So... Here we go. Some Creepantulas have taken several of your comrades, rescue them for Zarga and for Mackerel and Grouper. Okay. Give me your stuff. Oh, <laughs> I love that they reacted to me looting the corpse of their dead friend. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. That's, that's, that's very funny. That's a nice little detail. Uh, whoop. Uh-huh. Die. Uh-huh. Nope, nope. God, there's so many of you. Okay, we're good. Yeah, God, there's a lot of those things. So, those are Creepantulas? I'm assuming so. I could just, like, hide in my hat. My hat is massive. Big hat. Alrighty. Cool. Save game. Ooh, we have fast travel. We can fast travel between them. We have the Ride of Kindling. Or, not the Ride of Kindling. Uh... 
Is the right of kindling the one that... It allows you to kindle bonfires, but I think it also allows you to uh, travel between them, right? I believe so. Um, nope. None of that, please. Thank you. My cats seem like they're about to fight. Are you, are you two going to do battle? And by that I mean play fight. They're not actually, like, trying to get to a real fight, but... They're doofuses. And they'll fight sometimes. They always like to do it when I'm recording. Okay. You're big. Okay. Uh, I tried to explode that. There we go. Huh. Yeah, I, I tried to explode that one, but it, like, disappeared, I think. So, yeah, that's a pretty useful ability to have. Like, at the old spot that I dodged that. So, they don't seem to actually go for it. It seems like it kind of just exists. So, that's something to keep in mind. Um... Ooh, question. That's a good thing to find out. Do enemies respawn when I rest? Let's find out. Save game. That does heal me up. Do enemies respawn? I'm assuming so. But, uh, yep, they do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Die, dorks. Come here, you. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Dodge that. And we are good. Uh, where are you at? Oh, the big spider didn't come back? Okay, so the tiny ones did, big spider did not. Was that treated as like a kind of mid-boss encounter or something? Oh yeah, let me destroy these. Can't reach that one. I keep thinking there's- yeah, okay, so we can find stuff in those. That's good to find out now. That is very, very good to find out now rather than later. Um, whoop. No, you don't. That was a good block. Good job, me. Gotta get used to that. <clears throat> Got a spider layer map one. A fragment of the spider layer map. Okay, so we get fragments. Okay, well, that's something. Oh, wait, no. Back was the uh, map. Yeah. Okay, so it, it just reveals the general layout to us. Looks like we continue to go up right there. Okay. Cool. We're doing it. Alright, I'm liking this so far. Wasn't really sure what to expect, but I've had this one on my wish list for... Uh. Okay, okay. Get up, please. Okay. We're just gonna have to run over here, I think. That was, uh, horrible. My god. That was not ideal. That was not ideal at all. What a rude trap. Uh-huh. Okay, you're not gonna attack again? Weird. I thought you would've. Can you get up here to me? I don't know if you can or not. Kind of intimidated. Uh-huh. No, you don't. Okay. Oh, I'm glad my- I'm glad my charged attack there killed it. My this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was scary. Thought I was gonna die there, because I'm trying to save this health potion. You know, since they're consumables, I would prefer to not lose it prematurely. There we go. That was a good shot. Yeah, that attack's very strong. I need to make sure I spam that. Um... Okay, which way's progress here? I don't really know. So let's just go up here first, why don't we? Uh-huh. Yeah. Owie! Okay, you have a projectile. Good to know. Very, very good to know. Okay, new arachnid pendant. This gem contains a small imarachnid fragment at its core. I wonder what that does. Okay, you can see there our mana meter is regening. Good to know. Fantastic to know, actually. Alright, cool. So, I do have new things I need to check out there. Um, should I read new things as I get them, or should I just do a read-through at the end of every episode. Let, let's, whenever I think about it, let's just look and see. Because I might find useful information about, you know, creatures or something that I need. Okay, where did I actually go to, uh, equip this stuff? Don't remember where the actual equip screen was, because I'm imagining that Imarachnid thing is important, right? Here we go. Oh, wow, that's very good. So it contains a soul, so increased stamina, MP, and attack. Okay, so you just equip it here. That's right. 
Well, that's definitely better than my bone pendant. Yes. That increases way more stats. Cool. Very, very cool. Well, I'm glad I came up there and killed you. I don't know if that was a guaranteed drop or if I, I just got like a rare drop or something. Um, okay. Thinking I maybe shouldn't have fallen there. Boom. Good stuff. Ha! Ah, no! Damn it! I meant to jump. Oh, okay, just get me up here. That might have been my my A button on my controller acting up. Really gotta really gotta get a new one. <laughs> or just fix this one. I don't know what the deal is. I never had a problem like this with my other Xbox controllers. It's just this one. So I don't know what the deal is. But that happens sometimes, and I promise it's not me. I've observed it playing other things too. Restoration potion. Restore your stamina and mana bar. Interesting. Restore your stamina and mana bar. It's up to use a restoration potion. Depending on your current health status, you may have to rely on different consumable items, which will grant you a range of immediate or temporary effects. Change your consumable by pressing down. Okay. Yeah, well, I definitely want health potions more <coughs> than the other one. That's something I... Stamina potion seems like something I'll use in the moment. Wait, shit! No, I just used it from the menu. I wanted to equip it, damn it. I wanted to equip it, not use it. But equip is X. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh well, I needed the heal anyway, I suppose. Yeah. I wanted to save that, though. But whatever. Just, uh, play better. Don't get hit. I'm, I can guarantee I'm going to do that some more across this game. Accidentally use my health potions. You stupid little jerk. I thought I would stun lock you there, but I did not. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing that more throughout the game. Uh-huh. What are you? Um, Radiant Beigel. Are you my, um, my grubs? You're like my collectible? Let's see. Uh... Where are you at in this menu? I should look at this fragment of the map, okay. Um... I don't know where they- oh, here we go, quest items. So, I can't actually- oh, there we go. This creature gives us a mysterious light, very rare in its species. It certainly looks like a strange specimen, Radiant Beigel. Okay, I don't know what that means yet, but uh... Characters! Alright, let's read up on these two dorks. Mackerel is not exactly Zarga's most skilled soldier, nor its bravest. Sometimes it's best to keep him nearby to make sure he doesn't cause problems. He does try to make an effort, but not everyone is cut out to be a soldier. He usually stands guard with Grouper, who often brings good judgment to the duo. Grouper is not a very skilled soldier, although he tries to maintain his composure as much as possible. His ability to retain facts and figures sometimes validates his place among Zarga's ranks. He usually stands guard with Mackerel, perhaps the two of them they can make a soldier. <laughs> Rude. Very rude. Alright, uh, bestiary. Kumo. Alright, okay, so the Creepantula is the big ones. Much more sensitive to light than their older brothers, these small arachnids prefer to hide in holes and crevices, coming out to attack when vibrations around them signal that food is near. You have 1 XP, they're weak to fire. Batos are asleep when they can't detect anything around them. They may appear blind, but in reality, they can see and will pounce on the loudest thing near them whenever they hear even the slightest noise. Thanks to their heightened hearing, they use ultrasound as a weapon. Okay, yeah, and arachnid pendant is a possible loot from you. So I probably just got lucky. <clears throat> These arachnids inhabit the darkest areas of Terragaya. Many of them swarm through any cavernous and humid path they can find. Their speed means that their attacks are often deadly, but they sometimes prefer to hang from a web and wait to pounce on their victims, as we have seen before. So let's scroll slowly through here. Always hate this, because it's very easy to, you know, be scrolling and get rid of the notification because you can't see what's coming next. Very, very easy thing to have happen. But, no, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. And glossary and tutorials? So, restoration potion, the map... Selecting consumables. Change your consumable by pressing... Yeah, it says change your consumable by pressing down. Depending on your current hill status, you may have to rely on... Da -da 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 -da. Change your consumable by pressing down. But isn't down how you use them? Amulets grant a variety of bonuses. That is how you use them, right? Oh, wait, no, it's up. Okay, so down swaps them. 
Okay. I, I thought you swapped them on this menu over here. And that's why I accidentally went in and used it earlier. I thought, yeah, I, yeah, I thought you pressed down on this menu to swap them. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, well, point is, it's fine. I needed that heal anyway. And we are full health now, doing very well. Um, how do I want to deal with you? My thingy won't lock on yet. Uh-huh. Whoop, okay. Hit me with that. Uh-huh. Okay, you're dead. Good stuff. Yeah, that was a flawless victory. Cool. Alright, there's my next save point. Okay, Medusa Head, please quit that. Uh-huh. Very annoyed with you. So there's a checkpoint up there, but... Um, do I want to check out here first? Hmm. This looks like it goes deeper. I think I want to hit the save point first. That's probably the smart thing to do. Let's just go ahead and activate this. Good stuff. Um, I do need to save at it, which heals me. Thank you. Very much. Cool, cool. Hello. Bang, bang. Uh-huh. Gotta explode my- Ooh, you turned on me fast. Okay, you were a bit more prepared for me that time. Jeez. Well, okay. Rude. But whatever. Um... I can bust open all of these and get some HP. You're dead. Yeah, luckily you dorks don't have a lot of HP. That was a pressure plate. I felt the vibration on my controller. Okay, give me up here. Whoop, okay, there you are. Nope. Uh, whoop. Blocking that would probably be better than jumping it, but whatever. Ooh, do I need fire? Huh. I must need a way to get rid of that webbing. Huh. Yeah, it feels like I would need fire or something. I thought maybe I could knock this fire into it, but that doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Well, let's just continue over this way. So what is up there? It looks like it's a destructible wall. Uh, whoop. Bang, 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 bang. Dead. Yeah, okay, this is a bombable wall, it seems. Or whatever this game's version of bombs are. An explosion spell? I don't know. Okay. Thank you. We expected to find spiders in this cave, but not this size. Mackerel and Grouper must be desperate if they were caught, too. You're welcome, friend. Alright, so we got you. There's another one right here. Oh, no, you're dead. Okay, sorry, friend. Very, very sorry. It is interesting that we have, like, an entire squad of friendlies that we're kind of going through this area with. It is neat. Okay, there's another bombable wall right here. At least it marks these on my map. That is very, very handy. Gotta make sure we destroy all these torches. Hello? Okay, I think we're good here. Okay, it looks like we want to drop right here. This looks like it's leading into, like, a boss fight encounter, because it's a dead end down there. Which worries me. Uh-huh. Dorks. The homing attacks that I get are very, very nice. Boom. Alright. Dealt with. Sorted. Uh, no, none of that, please. Here we go. None of that. It looks like there's a secret wall down there. Or over here. Okay, I'm gonna drop here and go right here. This looks secret. No. I tried. Uh, whoop. Okay, hello. Haha, -ha, just cheese you. Ha ha ha. Okay, wait, you have ranged attacks too. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, wait, now you're trying to cheese me. That's not fair. That's illegal. Um, there we go, you're dead. Okay, there's a body up there I need to go get. Yeah, it tried to cheese me by just running away. Jeez. How dare. It's like the AI heard me. Oop, money. Give, give. Alright, bunch of healing and some cash. There's HP up there, but I don't need to go get that. If it was money, I'd go back for it. Don't know what I'm going to be using money for yet, but I imagine there's going to be various shopkeepers and things that we run into. Although I doubt it's going to be as important in this game as, like, you know, souls and things are and... Other kinds of games. Geo and Hollow Knight. Because, uh... Boom. Things. 
Ooh, level up. Mastery relics plus one, stamina, mana, and attack. Gimme, gimme. All right, cool. So I do need to go ahead and spend that point. So, oh. Yeah, I needed three before I could do anything else. Okay, well. Huh. Oh, you can demo them. That is amazing. Oh, can you not demo them before you get them? What is demo? Oh, okay, this is just, okay, it's doing that. I thought, I thought, I thought it meant you could try them out before, which would be awesome. Okay, that is water. How safe am I to jump into that? Excuse me, is that like a pig? Sorry, I'm very distracted by this. Bang. There we go, you're dead. Finish off all those bugs, please. I'm trying, friend. Believe me. Whoop. My arms are going numb. You mind letting me down now? Uh, sure. You're right, you are a pig. Cool, you're from Tumba. I love Tumba. Thank you. Is this amazing how you can, can't even get a wink of sleep in this monster riddled cave? Close your eyes for a second and end up strung up like a leg of ham. By the way, I'm Baloff, merchant and friend of the person that saves me. Which leads me to you. Uh, which leads us to you. I don't know how to thank you for taking me off the menu of those spiders. Wait, I know, just a second. Uh, bombs. Give bombs. Here it is. Give bombs, friend. Please. I would like bombs. Er, that landslide there a minute ago? Never mind. Oink, oink, oink. Alright, what you got for me? I know it's not exactly a magic ring, but since you come this far, I think you'll appreciate this. Bomb. Use this when you come across a wall and you think you can destroy it. It's also useful against enemies. Why don't you try using one of them to get us out of here? Right advice. Try not to be around when they explode. Wouldn't want to lose my best friend so soon. Okay, you can throw or plant bombs to unblock paths or damage enemies. Unleash your destructive ability. Hold L to place it on the ground. Press LT to throw it. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and remember that. Luckily, the tutorials are easily accessible, so... Um, you can kind of look back at them. Wow, those explode fast. Okay. I wonder if if I throw it, it explodes on contact. Ree, I'm off. Oh, by the way, if you fancy exploring when you get out of here, go to the east of these caves and you'll find Heffin City. Come and see me. I'll introduce you to my family and give you something to help you on your incredible adventures. Because you have embarked on an incredible adventure, right? Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Oink, oink, oink. Okay. Um, I did notice something here earlier. It said I, I'm 8% of the way done with the map. Is that the entire map? Can bombs destroy the spider web? I imagine I need, like, fire bombs for that. Oh. I thought I heard, like, it pouring down rain outside, but I think it was this game. Um, so can I swim? Okay, no. We cannot swim. Not yet. We are incapable of swimming. Good to know. Uh, I can't leave markers on the map, but luckily we can see on the map when there's more stuff. It's not like, um, some Metroid is where you have to kind of pixel hunt little openings on the map. Like, you have to see, like, oh, there's a little opening right there because some lines aren't connected. That's a door. Um, this one straight up shows you and leaves a bunch of handy markers that the game itself puts down. So that is very, very much appreciated. Okay, so I have four bombs left. I think that's enough to destroy all the walls in this place. We have one, two... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and there wasn't one down there. Okay, so we're good. We can go up here and destroy some walls then. And be on our merry way. Okay, so... You dorks are not going to come out and get me. Yes, you are. Never mind. I saw that. Die. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh, bomb shards. Okay, we can just refill our bomb. Our bombs are refillable. Amazing. That is very, very cool, actually. That we can just refill bombs like that. So I don't need to worry about using them. I thought they were going to be a consumable item I would have to worry about. Uh, no, you don't, Thork. I'm just going to take you out the cheesy way, as long as I get the opportunity. Read. Note on the pedestal. Too slow. I'll take this. I'm sure someone would pay a pretty penny to lighten up their display case with this green glow. Sinka. Wow, you're gonna steal my items, you jerk? Jeez. Okay. You, you curved that. Very rude. 
Bing, bing, bing. Okay, I think we probably should turn around now. Because that looks like it may lead into like the next zone or something. So let's go back here and probably just hit up this save point and go ahead and end things off. Yeah, I'm enjoying this quite a lot. It's pretty fun so far. Is there anything else I need to look at in the bestiary? There is. Okay, so Belof. Belof is probably the best merchant in Hafen. Hafen? Although he can be difficult to find when he's outside the city walls, searching for scrap metal and gadgets to help Gartua make the God Killer Cannon. Having worked closely with this dwarf, Balof has learned a lot about engineering and often invents his own gadgets, which he sells in his store. Although affectionate and good-humored, Balof can call on his natural tradesman's williness, uh, wiliness, if need be, since, as he says, he has a family to feed. Yeah. So you can be wily. You're 225, and you're a gullen, which I'm guessing is, like, pig people. So that's all of those. And just a reminder on new tutorials. Back here? Oh, yeah, bombs. So, yeah, press LT to throw, hold LT to place. Gotcha. All right, cool. Well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Soldiers off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.